Now I'm ready to dome them. They've been sanded down to the way I want them. And I'm going to use this doming tool here, doming block, I guess it's called, and a hammer. And I'm going to start by doming the copper and then the brass. Now I put it on this pad so it's not very loud, but it's still going to be loud. So I'll spare you listening to me do that, but I'm going to be doming every one of these copper discs, and I'm going to be doming every one of these brass discs, and then I'll be riveting them together. Alright, now the doming block is great. It makes very smooth domes. Actually, this one's the smooth one here. But what I like is I like a textured, rough, ancient look. So I'm going to use the chasing hammer and I'm going to texture my domes. Let's see? So I might put them on here. Now, this is a jeweler's anvil that I've got here and my chasing hammer and I'm just going to hammer it and see it makes it kind of textured a little bit rough looking because I want this piece to look ancient and handmade not machined and perfect to be riveted. Mr. Owl. How are you doing, Mr. Owl? I think Mr. Owl looks just lovely. Nice deep edge. Yeah, I think we'll get Mr. Owl out of there. Now, you can save your acid. You can use it more than once. Just make sure you store it in a glass or a plastic container. Don't store it like this, hanging open like that where it can get spilled or whatever. But you'll want to pour it back into a glass jar. Um, with plastic over it. I wouldn't use a metal lid on it or pour it into back into the plastic bottle that it comes out of, but that can be difficult. So you might want to get a special funnel or something for that. Alright. See you in a minute. Come on, Mr. Owl. Alright, I'm just going to show you this crazy bit here. When I'm ready to wash out my glass container, alright, I'm going to pour all the acid back out of it, as much as I can get out of it, and then I'm going to pour baking soda to neutralize it. You can use the baking soda to neutralize it if you get it on your skin, if you get it anywhere else. But you're going to neutralize it before you rinse out the pan. And if you look in here, you'll kind of see that I've got, I've written on the bottom of the pan in permanent marker, you know, do not use for food, you know, and that's just in case anybody happens to get hold of it that doesn't know. But anyway, so I'm going to neutralize the acid and then rinse and wash this out with soap. Now, just to be on the safe side, this is the countertop where I did the project. I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of baking soda around just in case anything splashed. I'm going to clean off my counter and if the acid is getting old, if you find that you want to get rid of the acid, you need to dispose of it uh, in a very particular way. In my city, I have to drop it off uh, on a particular day in a particular place and have it disposed of as hazardous materials. Oh, if you look, there's a few little spots where it did spill. So that's good. So I need to neutralize any acid that spilled here, clean off my counter. And like I said, you can reuse the acid, but if it starts losing its potency, it takes longer and longer and longer to, to do, or it starts getting dark and cloudy and all icky, you want to get rid of it, dispose of it properly. 
Alright, so we have Mr. Owl. Nice and shiny there, Mr. Owl. And I'm going to sand him a little bit with the sandpaper like I did the other ones. And make him nice and smooth and shiny. And then I'm going to dome him like I domed the others. And we'll go from there. Alright, Mr. Owl, you're all sanded. Now you're going to get hammered. dome to that because silver is very very hard to hammer and I could try to put it in the domer but I'm just not strong enough it doesn't really get a nice dome for me maybe I'm just not doing it right but anyway I like it like that I don't like it too too much of a dome I just like a nice slight hammered chased look or, you know chasing hammer not chased c-h-a-s-t-e but Chased, C H A S E D. That's nice. And then what I can do is take my hole puncher and punch a hole. Let's see, where should we put the hole? Nice little hole right about there. And punch it right through. Nice and easy. Take all that off of there. There we go. Put those back. Alright. And now it has a hole. I'm going to hammer that a little bit because it will be a little bit rough right there. And the hole being punched. And there's Mr. Owl. Alright, now there's one last thing I'm going to do with Mr. Owl. And what I could do is I could use this stuff called Silver Black or Liver of Sulfur or whatever. Um, and I'll probably use that on on these. But that gives the metal a real antique look. It kind of discolors it, darkens it. And I don't want to do that too much with this. I like a nice shiny silver on this. But to make Mr. Owl really pop, I'm going to go over him one more time around the edges with a black marker. I'm going to go all around in the cracks. With the black marker. And it's okay if I mess up just a little bit. And I'll show you why. I'm trying to really get in the edges. Alright, in there a little bit. Now I'm going to take, where are you, oh here it is, this little polishing pad. And I get these at a place called Ornamentia, O-R-N-A-M-E-N-T-E-A. -E -E um, I don't know if they sell them, they do have an online store, Ornamentia.com. I don't know if they sell these little pads in the store, I assume they do online, they sell them in their brick and mortar store. But anyway, this is just kind of a little polishing pad. To polish Mr. Owl. Alright, and now see I'm going to polish him up, but, you know, the dark edges are still there a little bit kind of makes him kind of makes him pop 
I'm going to put a little jump ring through that hole and put it on a chain and when it's all done I'll show you a picture. Alright, so there's Mr. Owl. Put a little jump ring on him. Put him on a chain. And I'm going to send him off to Hannah. The lights kind of, you can see my black fingers from all the polish in the middle. The lights kind of shining off and he's hard to see. Maybe I'll take a photograph before I send it.